I know very few skaters, including myself, that don't slip into the super avoidable mistake of busy feet. Some people call it happy feet, but that sounds pretty stupid. Busy feet is when you don't complete your stride entirely and make up for the loss of power with a higher stride rate. Busy footers generally skate higher with less knee bend in order to enable those quicker strides. This quick tip aims to lengthen your stride and make you a more patient, swift skater on the long stretch. So I'll start with a sprint and then I'll move into the double push when it makes sense. So when does it make sense to prolong your stride glide? I would say when your accelerative rate is in decline and you're moving into the long stretch in a very low profile. If you start from standing and sprint it out, you should be able to shift into the long strides after 12 to 18 strides. So you can see I need about 10 feet either way for my style of double push. It's quite minimal compared to what you see a speed skater do. A truly full stride is way too wide for the road or bike pass, but if you practice the fullest stride possible, you can modify it for your environment while retaining a certain percentage of enhanced efficiency. The extreme opposite of busy feet is the double push. While this takes quite a while to grow into as a skater, just by observing you can tell that the more efficient stride takes at least double the time to complete compared to the standard stride. So my advice to you if you want to lengthen your stride is when you complete a stride, hold it up a little on the return. Let it hover close to the heel of your supporting foot to maximize the glide of the previous stride and to allow the underfoot to work its magic. It may just contribute in ways that would surprise you. For me, often the terrain dictates where I'm planting and directing my feet. So I don't always get a time to have a full stride. There are stretches where I have zero full strides because of the terrain, but I have a bunch of choices of places I can skate where I've got an abundance of space laterally. So that primarily is what I want you to take away from this quick tip. Let that returning foot chill beside the supporting skate's heel for some extra glide time. Enjoy your one-footed glide and the extra speed on your long stretches, Blade Masters. Later.